welcome back to my channel in today's video we are starting with some music because i need all the motivation that i can get to get my cleaning done i've been procrastinating to deep clean my children's bedroom so today i just need to do that if you're new to my channel my name is sundili and i am a mom of three my oldest daughter is eight lota my son Zimi is six and my baby Suri is five. Today I'm going to be cleaning out their bedroom. So the first thing I want to do is to take out all the beddings. I need to throw them into the washer before I start the main cleaning. Let me know in the comment section if your kids share bedrooms because my kids used to share bedrooms but my first daughter she has problems sleeping at night and it makes nighttime so difficult because she stays awake all through and she will not let the siblings sleep so we decided to just separate them and put them in different bedrooms <laughs> I have this excellent hack here if you have a little one that's still bed wet consider putting like a pet training pad before you put the bed sheet i use this all the time can you guys see the nasty urine that would have gone on the mattress so this is amazing it catches everything and it just protects the mattress <music> Lota is very crafty and most time this her bedroom always looks like a studio. She does a lot of art and crafts and paintings and it's just difficult to keep up with the cleaning. Sometimes when I clean her bedroom, some things that I really feel like I should trash but she swears that they are important to her. So most time she does the cleaning but because she does a lot of paintings and arts, there is always things in this bedroom. Her bed spreads usually have different colors her wall i just don't know how to control that she's still very young and i like that it keeps her busy but it just comes with a lot of mess <music> I'm 
She used to have about four pillows on her bed, but I realized that there are so many marker stains on the pillowcases. There are so many paint. So I'm not giving her four pillows anymore. I'm going to take away two and just let her have two of these because I've already trashed two pillowcases. And don't think I'm going to leave this white bedding on top of her bed. No, I'm just going to put this temporarily until her bedding is ready. <laughs> some oxyclean in the cleaning solution hopefully it helps to take away all the colored marker stains on the carpet <laughs>
to Zimmy's bedroom. Zimmy is my child that keeps the cleanest room like he prides in clean room. So the only thing I need to do here is just to put in a new bed in for him, do a couple of dusting here and there and then shampoo his carpet. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around, throw it away. See if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose. But if I'm gonna lose you several times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with and without you finally moving over to zuri's bedroom like i said she usually bed wets at night she does wear diapers but i don't know they're usually a leak so i make sure that i put this part before i put her bed sheet that way if anything happens if she has any accident it doesn't stain the mattress it's just this that i need to replace so i'm going to put a new bed spread for her and also do the same thing do some dusting and also shampoo her carpet oh. Charming 
finally i'm going to clean the landing area so this is a high traffic area you notice i keep going over and over a particular spot when i'm shampooing it that's because it is really really dirty it is a high traffic area in this house <music> Kate wanted us to pull out the Christmas tree. I'm not ready to decorate. I have a couple of things that I've ordered and they will be delivering them next week. But they really, really wanted to pull out the Christmas tree. So we're going to do that tonight. <music> So I forgot that whenever I'm filming with my kids, I prefer to use my phone in case if anything happens. I don't want to use my fragile camera, which I totally forgot. So as we were filming this, somehow my son decided to throw a cushion at the sister, but the tripod fell off and my phone isn't coming up anymore. I'm happy that the phone is still working. I think it is the lens that is broken. I feel so sad. Like... Anyway, the tree is all standing now. We will do the decoration maybe next week. So please subscribe so you don't miss out. My kids already put their gingerbread men under the Christmas tree. Then these are the couple of things that I've owned from last year, last two years. I just pulled them out from the garage. The rest of the things that I ordered will come in next week and I do the decoration. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Okay, bye. Thank you.